Hey guys, we are back with our Sewing uh, 101 series. So this week we're going to sew on paper. Um, for the um, purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use my Foff. I don't normally use this machine for paper because the paper pulp can clog up your sewing machine. So I, if you have a fancy sewing machine, I don't recommend that you use paper. Use it for paper. I do recommend you go out and find a small like garage sale machine or something like that and use that instead. I have a little Janome. It works just fine. But for, I don't want to switch machines and confuse you any more than some of you are probably already confused. So we're going to stick with this one. Again, you only need to, like with the last tutorial, know how to do two stitches, your straight and your zigzag. Um, and you can do this with just the straight stitch if that's all you know how to do. Um, I've got some tags here and some scraps and bits and pieces of paper. The trick with doing paper on your machine is that... The tension may be challenging. I am just looking for pieces. Hang on, I want some book text. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know I've got some down here somewhere. Here we go. Book text. All right. Okay. So I, like with other tags that I do, I will just layer my different elements on top of each other that I want to use on the tag. Um, and this is a great way to use, to use up small bits and pieces. And then I'm going to pull my needle up, crank my needle up, holding my threads. I'm going to stop with the needle down and turn it, lift my presser foot up and turn. Stop with my needle down and turn again. And I've just, I'm just holding the bits and pieces in place. I don't recommend you tape them down or use glue because that will clog up your machine and cause you a lot of problems. Now you'll notice I didn't back tack, uh, go back and forth in the beginning. I did at the end. I overlapped the two threads. It should be okay. I'm not too worried about it because this is a mixed media project. I'm also not worried about cutting the threads completely because they add a little bit of charm. Now I already have this machine set for a stitch uh, tension that sews well on paper without leaving me a lots of bumps and loops on the back side or the front side you're going to want to do some test tags or test paper um, with the same kind of weight of whatever you're wanting to sew on with your machine um, before you sew the real thing and test yours. I also recommend using a little bit longer than normal stitch length because when you poke holes in the paper that's causing a weak point. Um, so you want to put as few holes as possible. Um, so there's one and that's just really quick again. I'm just laying stuff on top of each other. Now you don't have to just do paper. I have these little um, fabric tags that somebody sent me. And you could totally put pieces of lace or ribbon or all kinds of things on these. I wouldn't recommend sewing through paint because that is going to also cause your problems in machine. So if you want to do stenciling or something on it, do the sewing first and do, then do it afterwards. Do this painting or whatever afterwards. I also am not worried about matching the thread color to my paper because for two reasons. One, I want it to show so that you all can see what I'm doing, but I also think the contrasting color of thread, the dark thread, lends something to the tag and makes it more interesting. Um, just like with when we did the pencil bag, which I have here, because I'm filming all these videos on the same day, FYI, um, I used a dark colored thread because I wanted you all to see the stitching. Um, and it's also, it's a mis mixed media project. If you're doing proper dressmaking, that is not what you would do. You would match the zipper to the fabric, so it would have been cream color, and you, I probably would have used a cream colored thread. Mixed media projects, it doesn't matter. You want to use turquoise thread, purple thread. Use what makes you happy. 
So here's two just quick little tags, just out of the scraps that I have. Um, just tearing stuff up. Stacking them on my tag. And sometimes I leave things hanging off the edge and then later I trim it. Sometimes I don't trim it, I just leave it. So let's see how that works. Now this little embellishment's got modeling paste on it. Where's my threads. Okay, always hold your threads so you don't get a big knot in the back. Now on this particular tag, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to cut that thread. I will cut it when I'm done, but I'm going to come in here. I did hold my threads. Did you catch that? So I shouldn't have a big knot on the back. Do one more. I got a piece of thread caught in the bobbin, so now I've got like four pieces of thread here. One does not belong. There we go. Got it out. I just pulled on it. This particularly making tags like this is not about uh, making perfect stitches or anything like that. I'm kind of wanting that that way. At the same time, they're small and quick and easy, so they're a great way to practice doing straight stitches. And you could do them with a zigzag, but it's a good way to practice getting your rows to be straight. But if they're not, because it's a mixed media thing, it doesn't really, it's in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. So there you go. Quick and easy, sewn tags, how to use your sewing machine for paper. So just make sure you've loosened up the tension just a little bit that you're using a little bit longer stitch length and that you have a nice sharp needle because the paper will dull the needle. Uh, that's it for right now. If you're using a regular sewing machine that you've done dressmaking on for also for mixed media and paper, I recommend in between mixed media projects and your regular sewing that you give your machine a good cleaning and a good oiling before you sew, say, your kid's Halloween costume. <laughs> okay? That's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing besides playing with your sewing machine and doing some fun mixed media projects. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye.